What up y'all, it's your boy Playman P. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing how we water and maintain and keep our, I don't even know how many houseplants we have, but actually we're also gonna count, be counting them in today's video. So not only are we gonna be uh, going over how we maintain them, how we keep them green, how we keep them luscious and happy and healthy, but we're also gonna count how many houseplants we have. So stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Actually, before we do that, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit a like, hit that uh, notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos, and also leave a comment down below and let us know how many houseplants you think we have before the end of the video. So now, let's really go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all, so the first thing we do is we grab this, which is our meter stick, and we simply put it into the plant, and it lets us know if it needs water or not. So obviously this is dry, this is moist, and this is wet. Um, usually we water it around this time, so that means this philodendron jungle boogie needs some water. And um, a little uh, update on this jungle boogie, we actually had like two things, of, or two new leaves coming in, but I don't know what happened and they actually died off, but we have a new one coming in already. And if you can tell, Right here is where the new growth, uh, one of the new growth was, um, but it just died down and I don't even know what happened to it, but hey, at least we got a new one coming in. And then also what I like to do, let me bring this down. What I like to do when watering is, you know, just uh, check out the plant. So that is obviously a dead leaf, so we don't need that in there. I think this one is as well. So you just maintain the plant like that, just to be sure it's happy. Because like, you gotta think if you were like, if our uh, body parts spawned it or anything like that, would you want a dead arm lying around, you know? It, it would make you happier. And it will also make the plant look cooler and nicer. So this Hoya definitely needs some water. So we'll water this guy as well. And let me just make sure there's no other dead leaves around so we have some here and don't don't even trip I'm gonna vacuum the carpet so but yeah that looks like it with this I'm gonna hit it with a, a scissor just simply cut that off because we don't need that anymore so now that's done a little dead leaf pile right there and put this aside because we need that put this guy aside because we need him and then I'll just be checking the rest of these guys oh wait so that's uh, one that's two and I'll be checking the rest of these guys and I'll catch back up with y'all So now, here's a little bit of a, uh, we had a little bit of issues with this guy. He looks super dead right now, but he just needs some water and he's gonna perk back up. We got some new growth coming in, so he's not fully dead. But with these little dead guys, we're just gonna go ahead and simply give them a little cut. Nothing too crazy, we're just, uh, just giving them a cut, you know? It's quarantine, gotta have them looking fresh, you know? So this is what he looks like right now. But once we give them some water, the hood pope is gonna perk right back up. And this is one, two, three, number four on our house plants. All right, so now that we're outside chilling, we this guy's big, so we don't normally do this, but um, we typically raise the pot over the this little bucket. We keep the, the water in, and then we just water so that way we can hashtag save the environment and save some water at the same time. So then now we just lower it and wait for it to drip. And 
And then once it's done dripping, we actually water one more time just to be safe. And then we put it on the, the sill, or I don't even know what you call this, the ledge of our balcony so it can just hang out while it dries. So now that's what it looks like once it's done dripping. Well, for the most part, let me just put it on the ledge right here and let it hang out. And while we're outside, we actually have a cardboard palm and we have a little bit of a pest issue. Let's see if you guys can see it. If I can focus. So yeah, there we go. So there's a little bit of a pest issue. So what we've been doing is keeping it outside and spraying it with some good old neem oil. Did you keep it down? I'm trying to vlog here. All right, that was the truck passing by, but so now we just spray it everywhere. I wish this was like raid so I can just literally spray it and then it just dies, but I don't think it works like that. So we've been spraying this, I would say for the past two to three days. And they say you have to do it for at least seven days until you don't see any more uh, issues or homies, the unwanted homies. So that's pretty much it. Kind of like drench it. I don't know if I'm, we're doing this right, but I think we are shit. Um, so yeah, you just drench it. Bada bing, bada boom. And we just leave it out there. And for the ones that um, drain slow, I just keep it in here. It's a good thing because like, essentially just think of this as a saucer. All right guys, so as I'm editing this part of the video, I don't know why I couldn't put it together in words, but I knew what I was trying to say and I hope you guys do as well. Uh, basically I was saying once the water is drained from the pot, then it this serves as a saucer. That's all I was trying to say. I don't know why it was so hard, I'm sorry you know, like the sauces that you have under your plants. Um, so once this, once everything is, uh, you know, fulfilled on here, everything gets um, drained out, this is actually gonna serve as the saucer and it's actually gonna, the plant's gonna pick up any more water that it can take. So while I get some more plants we need to check out, this will drain. So we'll catch back up. So now we're back and this is the drainage left. I usually just give this guy because it is a cactus, but it's an indoor like a uh, jungle cactus. So they require more water than a typical cactus, like more uh, frequently watering, but not that much water, if that makes any sense. So now that it has dripped enough, we'll just put this on the ledge with the other guys. And then we got to work on these two now. While I was watering, I did notice that the balcony boys have uh, some unwanted visitors. I don't know if you can see them. Let me see if I can show you. There they go. So we got some unwanted visitors. So what I'll do now is just, oh, oh God. Those guys are active and feisty. But 
I'm bringing in the big guns. Hold on. Okay, so my goal is not to hurt them, but it is to remove them from my cacti. So, spray bottle. Meet Spider-Man. So they are no longer there. I don't know where they went, but hopefully they don't bother me. So that's how we do it. Oh my gosh, there's way more. Can you guys see that down there? Hopefully that helps. Oh my gosh, look at that. They're everywhere down here, man. Jeez. Haven't been out here for like a couple of days and this is what I get. Oh, look at all this new growth on this uh, white dragon or dragon bone, whatever y'all call it. I don't know what y'all call it. But let's see. Any other spider webs? Uh, there's one right there. And there's some over there. My gosh. Alright, this is for another video. We're about watering our house plants and maintaining, not talking about uh, spider webs. So, hold on. And what we do is we pretty much water it until we see no more uh, dry soil. I don't know if you guys can tell because the lighting on here is not that good because we're outside. But it is draining and all the top soil is wet. So that is a good sign. This is all the water we have saved. And I'm pretty sure you guys are asking why are you still using water bottles? It's because um, we just fill them up with our Britis. And then the water that we collect, we just reuse once we're done with the water from our British. And we've had the same plastic water bottle since we moved in, so don't trip and act like we're hashtag not saving the environment. So put that guy there, and we just continue the process. So here's what it looks like when it does not need water. This is our philodendron ring of fire. We actually lost the leaf this morning, rest in peace. And this leaf looks like it's gonna be lost as well, but we do have a bunch of new growth, so not tripping. But yeah, this is what it looks like when it's okay. We don't water it when it's moist, we only water when it's at that three to four mark. So this guy's good. So we literally just continued the same process over and over until every single house plant that we have that needs water is being watered. This one apparently needs a lot of water because it's already draining super fast at that. So again, we continue that process over and over until everybody is done. So let's do an update. We got, are we counting cactus? What do you guys think? Should we count cactus? I don't think so. This is house plants. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which he also needs water. And then we'll continue this count later.
All right, so now that we got the care out of the way, let's go ahead and count. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. We usually have the cardboard palm indoor, so we got thirty. 31 with this monstera so now we're inside we have 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 and there's two in there getting watered so 51 52 53, 54, 55, 56, wait, that's it? 56? We only have 56 plants? Damn. So yeah, that's it. Only 56 plants, I guess. Some of them died. Some of them we just threw away, honestly. Oh, and then we gifted them We gifted a few, actually. Um, so I think we might have, uh, more cactus than houseplants. That's pretty crazy. Um, yes, yeah, so only 56, I guess. I was thinking like 80. Like last time we checked, we had literally over 80. That's crazy. But yeah, so we got 56 houseplants and then we'll probably do, uh, for the next video. If you guys are interested, comment down below and let me know if you want me to count the cactus. So that would be pretty cool too. I don't even know how many cactus we have or euphorbias, all that good stuff. Balcony Boys, I don't know how many Balcony Boys members. I wanna say 60 or like, no, I wanna say like 40s. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's it. That's a wrap for today's video. We showed you guys how we care for our guys and girls, how we maintain them. Um, it is important once you are watering, it is important to just make sure there's any uh, dead leaves you can take off. Um, wipe the leaves if you have to or if need be especially because you're already in the pot in the plant you know you're already doing this so might as well take it to that extra step um, and then what we actually do as well is now that everybody's outside we'll miss them as well being that it is um, we are outside the plants are outside um, humidity does go a long way with plants so we'll probably miss them as well but aside from that you saw everything that we did um, so again, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and it's Plant Man P and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.